dot one dot one give the https because uh, password is already created login provide your credential okay now go to wlan here no wlan is created so create new one you can give any name like home wi-fi SSID you can give same home Wi-Fi okay ID doesn't matter what ID you provide okay 1 to 16 okay so you will prompted for new page in which status is disabled so check on enable and go to security feature okay just keep it apply for a time being you need to configure your radius server first okay so in the topology radius server is this and just open this radius server go to the services and open AAA. keep it on and provide the radius port as per your choice like i want to give 1812 client name is wlc client name ip 192.168.1.1 and secret you can provide like cisco red server type radius and then add okay you can provide um credential here user one password is also user one okay add and user 2 user 2 okay add that's it for radius server now go to again the web page of the wlc and go to security tab and uh, click here on new and type the server ip address so server ip address let's see what is the ip address of this radius server so it is 1.4 okay one ninety two dot 1.4 and secret as you remember it was cisco again cisco port is by default the same that we have given on your radius server and click on apply once you created your uh, server at an, uh, here then go to wlan again okay and click on wlan id status is enabled go to security and security type wpa because all other security features are not uh, supported by packet tracer so only that you can select click on wpa policy and enable 82.1x layer 3 security you can skip nothing required aaa server so select the server that you have configured in the security tab so that is the same server okay click on apply it will prompt to just changing WLAN parameter. It will only cause the WLAN to momentarily disable the authentication. Okay. Now you are done with it. So you see in your access point, you will add the SSID that you have configured in the WLC. It will reflect here. As you see here, it is reflecting. Okay. Now go to user one and desktop no not in desktop configuration and wireless provide that ssid home wi-fi and wpa username and password suppose user one has the user uh, credential user that we have given the radius server user one and okay let's connect it 
and mean the time you can provide for user 2 as well WPA home Wi-Fi and uh, user 2 password is user 2 okay and that's it so you see both users are connected and uh, they are getting the IP address as well and everything is connected with these users you can access everything you can ping whatever you want One sixty-eight dot one dot four. So you see, you are getting reply. So by this way, you can authenticate. If you want to create one more user and uh, suppose new join come in your team and uh, you are creating the credential for him, that will assist with this way. Okay. So how you can achieve it? Like I want to give this third user and uh, this username is uh, like uh, Rohit okay so it will connect through at wireless so remove this ethernet adapter and connect wireless adapter okay now go to configuration wireless and provide that SSID home Wi-Fi and WPA policy username you want to keep it Rohit and password is also Rohit okay but it will not connect because the same data is not matched with radius server so go to radius service and provide the credential same as it is requesting through uh, wireless connection so here you have to just provide username rohit and password is rohit and then add okay now wait for some time it will connect you see it is connected